Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's up, YouTube? Kyron back up in here with another video. And today we have a comparison video. Thanks to Kyle, uh, we're going to be covering the brand gallery department. So I wanted to talk to people about the comparison of a lot of people doing like affordable alternatives to flare denim and also the main people that are known for flare denim, which is gallery department. Kyle was lucky enough to have his chance of make, like basically you built up your own pair, right, Kyle? at the gallery department store in LA and he picked out those small little details that he wanted. So that's like one of the perks of having a brand like gallery department. Like you could go in, get your own tailoring done. His is like cut just like the way that he wanted to because he's a little bit shorter. So there's not the same exposed released hem. Do I do I want to spend eight hundred dollars on something like this? You can find down here. This is like around eight hundred to a thousand. How much did you pay for your pair? Yeah like around there like around seven around there. Eight. Seven or eight. So for me, I feel like you could see it in the details, like the inside panel of the crotch is a lot more clean cut. But at the same time, t Kyle was telling me like they're master tailors pretty much at gallery department. Like they're gonna make sure that everything is up to par, like seams are aligned. Everything is like really sleek and put together. You can even see the side on the inside, size 31. Make sure you say the exposed hem is long because they were tailored. Yeah, exactly. The exposed hem that is similar to what this is, which is the released hem. It that he's trying to mimic. Exposed. Yeah, it's exposed, but it's just like not like how it is supposed to be like this. He just cut it because Kyle's a shorter guy, so he just right. made sure the length was okay. On this side, you can just see more of the details. This, I think, what was the blank? Uh, a Carhartt pair of pants? Uh, Stan Ray. Stan Ray. Stan Ray pants. But they do like Carhartt, they do Stan Ray, they do Levi's, and that's where this one was inspired by too. So you can see the back. So yeah, it's just small little details that like, it's kind of hard to do if you're not like a really experienced tailor. But shout out Bijan. Shout out Bijan. <laughs> <laughs> but you could pretty much see the same idea. Like a lot of people are trying to mimic it because like the flared pen is pretty in right now. So. He tried to do his thing, but it's not exactly like the same, you know, but it gives the same idea. So I don't blame people for trying to do something like this, because if if you want an affordable alternative and you don't want to spend $800, like I see, I see the reason why. And shout out to Broken Garments. He was the guy that sent me this pair. And what's cool about this is like, I think all the proceeds are going to Black Lives Matter right now, which is pretty sick, but we're going to have Kyle try on this pair and then I'll try on this pair so you guys could like see comparison of like what's going on with the flare pants but i feel like it's good for like silhouette wise like you were wearing these with what the other day with what, the, on, on what, bottom. what bottoms like what shoes these oh yeah just air forces i wear them with like there's some crystals whatever i'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna have kyle wear his and show you guys like what it actually looks like on body because i feel like the way they fit is like top notch and i'm gonna show you guys what an affordable alternative will look like because you can see that same exact type of fit and see like kind of make up your own mind if you if you want to pay something a little bit more pricey and get it like super refined or if you want to do your own thing maybe even your, if you're nice with a, a sewing machine you could do it yourself type of thing so we'll see what that looks like so now we both have on the pants that we were just talking about kyle's in the gallery department and i'm in the affordable alternatives by broken garments so basically we're just gonna like go over some of the details that make gallery department signature for this type of style of fair, flare denim. So like the outside flare is like one of the main details. So you'll see like it's contrasted with like a dark denim, dark wash denim. And then the original one is like, what What would you say? Like a, like a canvas, like a light yeah. canvas. Um, like we said before, these are cut off because Kyle's a bit shorter. So you just wanted to get rid of the released hem. So they fall like pretty perfectly on the shoe. Like that's the look that everyone's going for right now. And then there's like some of the paint splatter details that they add themselves. They normally black out the logo. Hold on. They normally black Pause. out the logo like right here. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So that's perfect. And yeah, just the main other thing that like kind of separates them from a lot of people is the inside inseam. Sorry, Kyle, that we're touching <laughs> the inside inseam. It like comes here, which just adds like an extra like inch of length. And then this, it gradually goes out, which is the main detail that a lot of people kind of miss out on when they make their own. So yeah. it's three pairs of pants yeah, three, that go into yeah, it. Yeah, three like different pairs of denim. Yeah. So the outside one is like one pair of pants, another one, and then another one for the yeah. outside inseam. So yeah. And then for mine, the only like it's 
two different pairs of Levi's that he used basically. So he used a dark wash Levi's and then he threw them in on the inside. But the only main difference that I said is the inside inseam is like not as refined as the gallery department ones, obviously. And then also just the measurements, like these are a lot more exaggerated on the bellow and like the flare, obviously. But some people like this, some people don't. Like I like the more slick refined flare denim. So it's up to you if you guys want to spend that. Oh, yo, look, check those little chipmunk. Oh, Calvin. Get that. Calvin. Get that. <laughs> Out of here, wheezy out of here, <laughs> but uh, yeah, at the end of the day, is it afford like is it worth it to spend $800? I feel like it is if you have the money for it, definitely. Because sometimes you gotta spend it to, to make it make sure that it's uh fitting properly. When it comes to spending a lot of money on a piece of clothing, like you have to think about how many times you're gonna wear it. I know that a black pair of pants with like paint splatters isn't like a really everyday type of piece, but I know it's really in right now and it also holds its value. Like I know they go for even more on Grailed. If you list something like that, they go for 800 when you buy it. And when you want to sell it on a Grailed, it probably goes for like 1300. So it's up to you. If you want to spend it, then it kind of holds its weight. If you don't, then you could make it an affordable alternative and hopefully it works out for you. So that's all I have to say. Kyron, I'm out of here. Wow. wow. <laughs> as an ender clip for this video, I just want to give a little bit more context as to like what I'm actually saying, just because it was kind of more run and gun style. I know it's not typically how I film my normal YouTube videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On some final notes, I just wanted to let you guys know my true wrap up opinions on the debate for flare denim or flare pants, whatever you want to call it. For gallery department, gallery department holds a lot of. Uh, admiration in my heart for what they do because one it's a black owned business and two they do extremely great work and they're just like really like sick uh, all the hype aside like I, I don't care that a lot of people are on it for the wrong reasons I just honestly support their design and their admiration for reworking vintage garments because it's very sustainable and it's also very innovative um, they're kind of like the first people to do this whole flare denim thing that made it really popular. So I support everything that they do 100%. And also, on a side note, I do understand that a lot of people can't really afford stuff like that sometimes. So if you wanted to make your own, I pretty much provided all the information of what they did. But I understand, like, I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, like, I wouldn't suggest that you guys steal a person's creative idea because I'm personally not a big fan of that. But if you're coming up young in fashion and you want to try and do your own take on tailoring, do your own take on design and like get inspired by what gallery department is doing and you want to take your own take on that, then by all means, I feel like it's a beautiful thing. And especially with what Broken Garments was doing uh, with his pair of pants, like they're more exaggerated, obviously inspired by gallery department, but it's going towards a good cause. Like it's all going to Black, My Black Lives Matter at the time of when I was filming that video. I don't know what's going on now, but um, there's pros and cons to everything. So I just wanted to touch on that for sure. Uh, and I will be leaving some affordable alternatives in the description below because there's a couple guys that are doing it now as well as gallery department i highly support all of those guys like if you want to support gallery department do so if you have the money and if you want to support any of the guys doing affordable alternatives definitely do that as well if it's all vintage gar garments then i feel like it's all for the right cause and respects for sustainability so that's what i gotta say about it thank you guys for watching this video once again i'm out of here peace